Hey, good morning, everybody. So I'm up early, 719 on Sunday morning, the 6th of June, 2021. So I'm about to do a car wash. I'm at the car wash. So let's uh, let's do it. I'm going to turn this around. And there we go. Let's get out, turn off the car. And let's get this car washed. So there's where I came in. I'll put this away before I get the car wash started. So this is the one I think I talked about in a previous video. It's as, as inexpensive as $1. And uh, I think we'll be spending at least $4 today, maybe six, because I'm going to take my time and wash the heck out of this car and uh, soap it up, rinse it up, and wax it up. So we'll do that up and we'll back to you soon. All right, take care. All right, everybody, it is time. So here I am and the car is clean. I'm just letting it drip dry. I soaped it up with the soap brush. There it is there, a little soap left on the dish and Soaked it up with the soap from the spigot over there and then rinsed it down and then waxed on the hood and tried to keep it away from the glass parts, but I'm all clean. And I'll probably take her home and use a cloth on it and make sure it's nice and clean. So the rims I, I got initially with the car, they didn't, they started rattling, so I got some different rims that I thought looked nice, but I would have preferred to stay with the Toyota rims, but unfortunately the rattle that came after a while didn't work, so, and I had a feeling, because I had a previous Toyota that had rims that caused, may, may have got cracked or something's possible, that, um, oh, we don't want that that sometimes uh, they'll just start rattling as you're driving and that's not cool. So we're good to hear now. They do have a vacuum, although my car is not all that messy. And there's the down home cafe. We're in Fort Erie, Ontario, in case I didn't say this earlier. And this car wash here, I don't know the name of it. Let's see if they have it on here. Crescent Park Car Wash. I guess that makes sense for in Crescent Park. So they have four bays. All right, we're back. So I'm still along Dominion Road in Fort Erie, and this is a new Avondale market. So I'm gonna go and get out of my car. They're not open yet, it's still too early, quarter to eight, I don't know what time they open, but I'm sure they have their hours on the window. Isn't this beautiful? right across from a company called Homefront Landscape. Cool. This is again on Dominion Road. I haven't been here yet, but I will. It's just down the road from where I live, so for sure. Now, I haven't been able to chain, but let's see what their hours are. Oh, they're open, seven o'clock. Cool. I was mistaken, they are open. I'll have to check them out. So it's Avondale Fresh Market on Dominion Road in Fort Erie. So onwards to the next location. All right, so we're on a side road. And I just thought I'd show you how nice it is. And you can see down at the end of this road is a lake. I'm gonna head down the other way. All right, we're gonna turn this off. Okay, so here's the pathway down to the lake. And I think in the background, you probably can see the lake as well. It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's Fort Erie again watching for any cars and I think there's one going to be coming. 
I don't think I can drive down there. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'll take a look. All right, so I'm stopped. I had to drive a little bit farther down, but this is basically the lake area of Fort Erie. There's plenty of it. I'm going to see if I can find parking down there, but there's some people walking by, so I'll wait before I get out. And uh, right across the river, you can see Buffalo, New York. And once these folks come by, or this gentleman comes by, I will get out and take some video. So this is the waterfront here in Fort Erie. Uh, here's a comes a car, so I gotta get back in. And we'll just take it from the car until these ladies walk by. Look at this quaint house here. There's lots of these like, cottage type properties down here. All right, we're gonna try again. All right, so this is down by the lake here in Fort Erie. And we'll keep driving, but it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to walk up to Garrison, which is the main street here in Fort Erie. But crazy place, really nice. Look at this, some nice flowers by the little seats so you can sit and relax and watch. I'm going to just take a drive and see what we have. I should get a dash cam so we can drive and watch this at the same time. But for now, this is what we get. Beautiful. All right, so we've stopped the car and we're down by the waterfront. There's a little parking area here. Little seagulls parked himself right out here. It's very cool. But I just thought I'd take a little video down here while I'm here. A beautiful sunny Sunday morning. It's really early and you can see like I said before across the river Buffalo, New York. You can see I'm just down from where I was before. And there's the Peace Bridge and the path goes down farther. Nobody here so no mask required at the moment anyway. It's just crazy beautiful. Look at the water, so so soft. <laughs> it's so smooth this morning. Gotta be careful, don't want to fall in. Don't want to drop my car keys either. I got them on my hand here. So we want to make sure that the car keys don't get dropped in the water. That would be a bad thing. And the seagull's still here. So that's fine. So there's somebody else here, so I'm gonna head out and we're gonna go up to Garrison and we will take a look at some of the shops that this little town, look at this bird. Oh, beautiful, beautiful feathers. There we go. Unfortunately, there's a glare, so I can't see how close I'm getting to him or her. Beautiful bird. Alright, so we're going to turn around. There's a seagull looking for food, no doubt. Alright, we're going to shut her down for now. Okay, so we're up on Garrison. This is Highway 3. And we're going to take a quick video here, and then we're going to move on. So we have a motel called the Knights Inn here. Now there's not a lot of... Thank you, car. There's not a lot of hotels in the area. And clearly the animals or the birds have got into the garbage over here. But I'm sure they'll clean that up soon. Look at this. So there's a lot of people here. So if you have, there's a couple of inns in the area. 
and right next to it is this is the beginning of where Highway 3 or, or Garrison Avenue, Garrison Road sort of starts and then we got the Royal Legion over there the beer store up the road and you can see the Tim Horton sign Sounds like they got a sports car that has nowhere to go. <laughs> Alright, so let's head down the road and we'll turn her back on. Alright, we're a little farther down the road now. And this area has another hotel, the Haven Hotel. Haven Motel, excuse me. So clearly there's more than just a couple and across the road is the beer store. They're developing some land. It's probably going to be a retirement facility or old age home. Across the road we have a mall here and it looks like Century 21 Realty and just over there is Canadian Tire and a whole mall of food, KFC, Pizza Pizza, the Barrel Restaurant and there's the noisy car again. So if you're ever going to buy a sports car understand how noisy they are before you buy it. If that's what you really want then maybe you find a racetrack. Okay, so, and I know the, the racers are going to hate me, so that's fine. I can live with it. With the few viewers that look at my videos, I'll, I'll be nicer later. I do like driving fast, but I don't like noisy cars. So, if you can find a fast car that's not noisy, I'm good for you. So, the Barrel Restaurant, Canadian Tire, KFC. And, uh, okay, so we're going to drive down the road a little further. So, don't forget, we already got two motels in a three-block radius. And we got, uh, I think there's a subway sub on the on this side of the road. I can't see it right here, but I think that's coming up over there. So get back in the car and we will add to the video. Hello again. Golden Arches, along Garrison here. So let's get out and just take a quick look around the corner here. We're at the corner of Concession and Garrison, which is Highway 3. Across the road, we have Chuck's Roadhouse. We have Rexall Drugstore. And like I mentioned earlier, you have Canadian Tire KFC. There's another... This used to be a motel, but it's called a factory outlet at this point. So these people are driving like they're 104 years old. That's Sunday mornings for you here in the Fort Erie. 104 is a good age though. Yes. Let's see if there's any accidents while I'm filming. It's very possible. People just seem to like to get in people's ways. Noisy, nosy, but I love Fort Erie. They call this across the road there, Garrison Village. And there's a quality meat shop. First Choice Haircutters, which I don't think is open quite at the moment, in a couple weeks probably once the lockdown is done. Pizza Pizza, KFC, Canadian Tire of course just a little bit farther down. And then we'll head down the road. Okay. Alright, so here we are right next to McDonald's. This is a mall. One of the items is a bulk barn. We have a Pizza Hut, a travel agency across the road although I don't think the bingo works right now there is a Delta bingo MJ's restaurant where they have roasted chicken and right next to here this is all part of the same mall we have uh, Canada Trust TD Canada Trust Shoppers Drug Mart Sobeys is down there Dollarama Meridian Credit Union which at the moment all the banks and credit unions in town, I believe, in Fort Erie that is, are only open Monday to Friday. But I expect when things open up, they'll probably start opening Saturday as well. I know in Niagara Falls they do. And like I said, Bulk Barn. I think there's around the corner, there's a Money Mart type place. And there's a few convenience stores around the town. So, and of course, lots of um, Tim Hortons. There's nothing here. And that's cool, that uh, Uncle Sam statue. I'm not sure. I guess it's part of the, the bingo place. I'm assuming it's part of the Delta Bingo. 
I would zoom in on it, but because of the glare, I can't see it, so maybe I can try. Let's see. Oops. See, my video skills are limited. Okay, let's try this again. I may need to cut some of this out. Oh, so. Okay, there we go. So there's the Uncle Sam statue. Very cool. All right, so let's take another circle here. Slowly. With it zoomed a little bit so that you can sort of see. Oh, there we go, bulk burn. And then we'll start in this direction once again. We got the Meridian, the Dollarama, Sobeys, Shoppers, and TD Bank. All right, so here we are on Garrison Still, and we're at Rona. Let's see here. Fort Erie, Rona. And just down the road from where we were just is a... You can't see it necessarily, but there's a um, a car dealership and a church. The church is right across the road there, and the car dealership's just down there from it. A lot of land over there to be developed, so hopefully soon. So I just stopped into the Fort Erie Rona. It says it's only open. Oh, it's open today from 9. Let's wait till the sign comes back. We love Fort Erie, they say. Well, I like Fort Erie too. Yeah, now that the weather is starting to get better and now that we're starting to get healthy again, um, these businesses are gonna start to boom. I think you're gonna see in the next few months of the summer, it's going to be very profitable and make things available to us again. So open Monday to Friday from 7 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening or afternoon. Saturdays from 8 in the morning till 5 p.m. And they are open today. Let's see the timing. 9, p 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Not bad. And this is the summer. In the winter, I don't think they're open Sundays, but definitely Saturday. So if you need something, Rowan is one of the places you can go. All right, we're going to head down the road. All right, we're back on now, and so there's a drugstore called Remedy RX, Remedies RX, the local drugstore they call themselves. There's a um, Primary Care Niagara, it's a walk-in clinic. There's um, a foot care place called Gordon Golden Horseshoe. There's a hearing care place and a Japanese restaurant. That's an interesting mix. And I'll get out and I'll show you the rest of this sort of one part of this area here. And then just next to it is another area, but they're, they're building here. And if I was to guess, I'm not 100% sure, but whatever is being built here looks like it, it's being formatted for some kind of drive through type of facility. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But uh, we'll see what, what that turns out to be. There's no signs that indicate what it's going to be. So up here on the mall right beside the Remedies RX that I showed you is um, Fort Erie Chamber of Commerce, Life Labs. So you get your blood tested there if you have, you know, a blood testing that needs to be done. This is a place a lot of people go. I, I had uh, a medical issue a while back and I had to go here pretty much every week, sometimes a couple times a week. Um, there's a physiotherapy place. There's a foreign trade zone. I don't know what that is, but that is there. Uh, not that I mean to be laughing at it, but I just don't know exactly what it is. So, And then across the road, we have a mall, which is very popular. Is we got No Frills and Walmart, and then Scotiabank's there in sort of the side mall there. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Alright, so I'm not having the best of luck with the zoom. Alright, it's a little bit. You can see a little more. You got Walmart on the left. 
no frills on the right I'm not gonna drive in there but yeah it's a pretty popular Walmart of course is open every day Scotia Bank it's open Monday to Friday right now but I suspect again once things open up a little more that all the banks in town will be open Saturdays at least for a few hours uh, they are in the Falls in Niagara Falls so yeah so let's say 360 sort of uh, what this little mall here is along Highway 3 and um, I'm not sure what the road is here but this road right in front of me uh, takes you down to the entrance to the highway to get to the US or to get to Toronto you can drive a little farther down and you can go into the highway to Toronto the QEW so that is that for now all right so